do we need extra antivirus software for our Macs in 2025? If you start searching more about this, you will find out answers for both, yes and no. It's pretty confusing and the truth is they're both right. To determine that you need antivirus, it's all based on your use scenario. How do you use your Mac? I have created those seven questions here that we need to answer in order to know that you need extra antivirus or no. So the first question is, do you download third-party apps? So from outside App Store, from websites and other stuff. Okay, so if you just stick to the App Store, you don't need to check this on. If you download apps online, you need to put a check mark here. All right. Do you keep your macOS outdated? You're ignoring updates, you switch off the auto updates for your apps and also macOS. Everybody's already on macOS 15.2, but you're still on 13. Or maybe your laptop is old, your hardware is old, you cannot update even you want. In my case, I'm good with that. I got everything updated nicely. Are you not comfortable relying only on Apple built-in protection? You got some trust issues, you got some problems in the past and you don't really trust Apple that much. <laughs> you can check it on if you got problem with that. Do you often click on links, open a lot of attachments, people send you PDF stuff, maybe you need to put in a flash drive to your Mac, copy some files from that? In my case, no, nope, I rarely download stuff from emails. Do you use public Wi-Fi without extra protection? Not really, I use uh, private Wi-Fi both at work and home. Do you already notice any strange activities in your Mac? It's slowed down, you got some pop-up windows or something weird going on already? Not in my case, are you willing to pay for antivirus if needed? Yeah, if needed, are you willing to pay for it? All right, in my case, I got two out of seven, so that's less than half. So in my case, I would choose to stick with the built-in protection. If you got more than half, you should consider getting yourself antivirus. You can start with the free antivirus and then if you need more protection, you can update or if you are bothered by some of those free pop-ups, whatever limitations you can consider updating. And nowadays they also include extra features like VPNs and stuff like that. So two most popular last year that would be Bitdefender especially useful for if you're already noticing some kind of malware going on something shady already going on in your system so Bitdefender or the Norton right Norton is kind of like the name for itself for years protecting OS both for Mac and Windows so those two are recommended that trusted ones and both got free and paid version all right, so that's the little checklist I put up together. I will kind of put it like that so you can see all of the questions in the same time for the last time. So check with the checklist. And if you just check one or two pieces like I did, you are good to go. You don't need any extra protection. But if you everything is red here, you do all of this stuff. Yep, get yourself Norton or get yourself this very handy Bit Defender. And keep in mind some of those features inside may be paid like VPN. All right, I hope this was useful. See you in the next one.